Buenas tardes, nos encontramos en Cartagena, en el Congreso Internacional de Oftalmología, organizado por la Sociedad Colombiana de Oftalmología. Tenemos el gusto de estar hoy con la doctora Ruth Williams. Good afternoon, Dr. Williams. Hello. Thanks for joining us. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. La doctora Williams es la presidente de la clínica Withon. Eh, de hecho, el nombre es CEO of the Withon Eye Clinical y es la presidenta de la Academia Americana de Oftalmología. Well, uh, first of all, uh, welcome to Colombia. I understand that you're your first time in Colombia. How do you find this Congress and how your comments about it? Well, I'm so happy to be here. Cartagena is such a beautiful city. And the thing that impresses me most about being in Colombia are the people. You've been gracious hosts, and I feel so welcome. And people that were just colleagues last week are now my friends as well. Okay. Very nice to hear that. What are the major achievements of the Academy uh, in the last years? I think the most interesting thing the Academy is doing right now is the development of the One Network. The amazing thing about the One Network is that a ophthalmologist in a rural area in the United States or an ophthalmologist in any city around the world or any rural area in any country can have access to the same lectures, the same printed material, the same surgical videos. So really we become a global community of learning together. It's an incredible resource and I really think it draws us all together and allows us all to have similar educational resources. You are doing these activities through webinars or e-learning or what kind of uh, tools are you using to do these uh, education programs? What makes the One Network particularly um, powerful is that there are many choices on what to do with One Network. So there are surgical videos on a YouTube-like format to study. One can um, view lectures by different professors of ophthalmology. There are, uh, there's a resident education center, so different programs can actually upload content and share content with one another and create programs specific for those ophthalmologists. Um, slides are available, there's printed content, and for example, there are questions, so someone can study for tests by looking at certain kinds of questions that are available. Okay, very interesting. Well, what can, what can we expect for the 2012 annual meeting of the Academy? A great meeting first. As um, always. Yes, well, thank you. The 2012 meeting is really exciting for me personally because Chicago is my hometown. Oh, really? So I'm inviting you all to come to my home in November. The uh, meeting is a joint meeting with the Asia Pacific uh, Academy of Ophthalmology and there will be people from many different regions. I think one thing that makes the annual meeting so vibrant is that it really is an international meeting and people will come from um, all continents and so it's a place where we all come together and learn together, socialize and celebrate our global community of ophthalmology. All right. Uh, considering uh, your outstanding career, which have been the most important advances of ophthalmology? I think the most important advance in ophthalmology is the internet. And the reason I say that is because of technology and the internet, we can share our knowledge with one another, we can learn in new ways, and that even the role of a professor or a senior ophthalmologist has changed. And here's the reason. In the past, each of us went to lectures to get knowledge. But there are so many ways to get information and knowledge that the role of the professor has now become the, the person who provides context, who gives wisdom, who gives advice, and really, I think our professors more than ever have become the elders of our community. So I, I think the ability to uh, learn on the internet, to share information, is probably even more exciting than the many different advances we've had in the technology of treating eye disease. All right. Well, uh, to, to have the end of this interview, 
Any advice you can give to the youngest ophthalmologists in Latin America? Well, I'm very interested in young ophthalmologists, as you know through my work at the Academy. And what the most important advice I have to young people is get involved. Ophthalmology needs you there. You, the young people have understand this new technological world that we old people have inherited. You have the energy and it's your world of ophthalmology and we need you to be involved to help us understand where the world is going and really help guide it. But most importantly, it's your future and you can help shape it. Okay, thanks again for having you here in, in, in Cartagena, in Colombia, and hope so not the last time you visit us, and you are more than welcome when you want to visit us again. Thanks, I'd love to come back.